So thank you so much for coming today and talking to us about hunger. I just want to simply ask you, uh, what does hunger feel like to you? To me, hunger feels like a lacking, mm. something's missing, like I'm not full, the opposite of fullness and wholeness. Hunger is that moment when you're craving something, you know? It's that point in time when you're feeling empty and you need to fill yourself up, typically with something nutritious, but something that is going to give you energy and give you life. When you are hungry, where specifically in your body do you feel it the most? My mind is hungry. A lot of times I'm hungry because I think it's time to eat yeah. or I eat um, before lunchtime or because I know I have a full schedule of things to do. Yeah. If you're noticing the symptoms that your body, in the way that your body is communicating to you, I'll, I'll feel it in my gut, you know, in my stomach, and it'll, the low rumble. So kind of on the flip side of that, when you're full, yeah. where do you feel being full the most? Probably in my gut. Yeah. Yeah, so, and especially if you eat too much, yeah. um, then it's like, you feel 10 times bigger than you are so in terms true. of like, <laughs> gorging yourself. Yeah. Did you know that there were eight types of hunger? Eight? Eight types. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? There are eight <laughs> types of hunger? There are eight types of hunger. <laughs> and so my charge to you is asking if you can tell me uh, what some of those types of hunger are. <laughs> okay, so a few I know from personal experience. Obviously physical hunger, emotional hunger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could be hungry at the sight of food. Yes. I hunger. I hunger, absolutely. You, know, you see it, you want it kind of thing. That's Everyone right. else is eating, you eat. <laughs> it could be my blood flow and circulation. It could be, you know, fatigue. So I, but I don't know how to translate that. That's a good question. Um, well, the good thing is we have someone who's going to translate it for okay, us Okay, great. So <laughs> thank Excellent. you so much. Yeah, appreciate you thank being you. Here. Mind, I think I'm hungry. I hunger. This apple looks really perfect and delicious. Ear hunger. Doesn't that make you so hungry? Nose. I can smell the chocolate. Mouth hunger. This chip is really salty. Heart hunger. I'm hungry for this apple because it reminds me of when me and my grandma used to go apple picking together. Stomach. My stomach's grumbling. Cellular hunger. I've been studying all day and I'm feeling depleted. I really need this apple right now. Touch hunger. This potato chip feels a little dusty and definitely crunchy. Hi everybody, my name is Dara James and I am a PhD student at the Downtown ASU campus in the College of Nursing and Health Innovation and I'm just going to talk quickly about the nine types of hunger and mindful eating. So a few years ago I trained in the Mindful Eating Conscious Living program which teaches people how to become aware of their sensations around hunger and their sensations of satiety. So basically, mindful eating helps us bring awareness to understanding when we're hungry and what we're hungry for. So it also really helps us to break this autopilot behavior where we maybe eat because it's a certain time of day or we eat because we're around people or perhaps we even eat because of some emotional response that we're having. So this awareness helps us bring choice and that choice helps us bring freedom. So then the nine types of hunger that are identified through this program are mind hunger, eye hunger, ear hunger, nose hunger, mouth hunger, heart hunger, stomach hunger, cellular hunger, and also touch hunger. So all these combine to actually help us be aware of our eating experience. And the really cool thing is that we don't actually have to learn anything new. We already have all these things. So it's just beginning to bring awareness to the tools that we already have to help ourselves increase our own skills around mindful eating and ultimately take better care of ourselves.